Marcel here. Y'all welcome back to my kitchen. Guys, today I have a super easy three ingredient recipe for you. I'm gonna show you how to make these delicious, crispy pigskin potatoes. And that's kind of an odd sounding name, but uh, this is a recipe that I actually found in a Rachel Ray cookbook, one of her vintage cookbooks from, uh, I think it was 2006. Um, but anyhow, this was part of a menu she had put together for sports fans, and so that's why it has the odd sounding name. And you know, they often refer to football as, you know, pigskin, <laughs> you know, that whole thing. But anyhow, these are some delicious, simply seasoned roasted potato wedges that um, will go perfectly with the menu of appetizers for your game day feasts. Um, or also these are just delicious side dishes, uh, you know, for anything from barbecue ribs to sloppy joes, hamburgers, you name it. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and turn you around, show you how to make these delicious pigskin potatoes. Okay guys, well here it is. These are simple, but so delicious. Um, I've got some extra virgin olive oil here. I've got some Montreal steak seasoning and I've got two large russet potatoes. And these are like the baker size potatoes. They're not little potatoes out of the bag. And I will be able to get, I should be able to get six wedges out of each potato. Um, now this is so, so simple, you know, but I have roasted many potatoes in my life and I've seasoned them all kinds of ways with smoked paprika and this and that. But I would have never thought to do this. <laughs> we use this seasoning, this Montreal steak seasoning, all the time to season meat. Um, but I don't know, somewhere in my head, it probably would have been too peppery uh, for the potatoes. But anyhow, I'm glad I tried it because it's super, super good. All right, let's get started. Let's get to cooking. Okay, guys. So I just want to point out that you will need a large mixing bowl. Uh, to put the wedges in and then we're going to toss them with the seasoning and then i um, going to need a baking sheet that's lined with some parchment paper. Um, I just normally do this in the oven uh, this way. It's how the recipe was written as well. Um, but you could also do these in the air fryer. Um, but I just haven't had a really small air fryer. So it makes more sense for me just to do this in the oven. I can do them all in one fell swoop on the baking sheet. And uh, oven is set to 425 degrees. All right, let's slice up some potatoes. potato wedges in the bowl and I know in earlier in the video I said I would get six wedges out of each potato I meant eight okay and this recipe assumes about four wedges per person 16 wedges here so four servings um, all right now I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil here maybe you can hear the thunder it is storming here today all right so I'm gonna start off with about a tablespoon and I'm gonna use one hand to kind of coat them with the oil, just as well as I can. All right. Okay, that's looking good. And so now I'm gonna pop the top here on my bottle of Montreal steak seasoning, and we're just gonna give it a good sprinkle. Um, it'll probably be a tablespoon or two you don't want to go too crazy because it is a very strong, uh, peppery, garlicky seasoning. Just kind of go over the top and then, you know, mix them around until it, it looks like every wedge has a little bit of seasoning. Maybe one more little shake there. All right. That's looking good. Certainly smelling good. Um, let's get these on the baking sheet. Now we're just gonna kind of lay these out in 
a nice even layer. And uh, I do believe I said earlier that my oven is set at 425 degrees. And we're gonna let these bake for 20 to 25 minutes until they are nice and crispy golden brown. This couldn't be easier and I'm telling you, uh, all of us who love to cook, I know we've roasted some potatoes in our life, guys, but not this little seasoning just made a big difference. Okay, one last little glimpse before they go into the oven. Okay guys, well that is it for this really simple recipe. These crispy pigskin potatoes are all done. They smell fantastic. Um, I'm gonna be pairing these up with some chili dogs tonight. We're kind of having like an ultimate comfort food supper with some chili cheese dogs and some crispy pigskin potatoes. Um, but I just love this simple recipe. I think it's such a delicious twist on an old standby roasted potato wedges have never tasted better with just a little shake of some Montreal steak seasoning. Um, but anyhow guys, I do hope you come back and let me know if you uh, give this recipe a try. Let me know how you serve them if you're going to put them out as part of a buffet with wings and pigs in a blanket and all that good stuff or if you're going to use them as a side dish like we are tonight. Um, thanks again guys. I, I appreciate your support so much and take care out there. Um, you can see the rain stay dry <laughs> and I'll see you real soon in a new video.